Hello, in this video we're looking at antibiotics and painkillers, both used to help people to get over diseases. Now, in terms of our antibiotics, they are chemicals that are taken as a medicine, so don't confuse them with antibodies. They are medicine that's taken in order to kill bacterial pathogens. So if we've got infected, for example, by the bacteria shown in the top left there, those green ones, we can use antibiotics to help kill those bacteria and they can be gotten rid of and the person can be made well again using specific types of antibiotics. Now you might be infected with another kind of bacterium. So imagine we go to the top right now, that's a totally different pathogen but still bacterial. You can still treat with antibiotics but you often need different antibiotics for different uh, bacterial pathogens. So in this case, we might use antibiotic B. Let's call it antibiotic B. And the first one, we could call it antibiotic A. Names of specific ones aren't really necessary. Uh, and again, we could go to look at the bottom right bacteria. And you could, for example, use a third antibiotic, antibiotic C, to treat those. So antibiotics are often very specific to the types of bacteria that cause a disease and that you are dealing with. Now, inside these cells, these body cells, we have... A different kind of microorganism and that's a virus. Viruses tend to be much smaller than bacteria and body cells and they tend to live inside body cells. So antibiotics cannot be used to kill viral pathogens or antibiotics cannot be used to kill viruses and that is because they are inside body cells. So there we go, the viruses are found inside cells so you can't really get to them. It's hard to treat diseases that are caused by viruses because it's hard to kill the viruses without actually damaging the body tissue as well. So if you damage the body tissue, obviously that's not good and it's hard to kill the virus without damaging body, the body tissue itself. So these are the, the antibiotics can be helpful for bacterial diseases but not with viral diseases. So doctors don't tend to give antibiotics when they know it's a viral disease. What they might give is something like a painkiller. So painkillers tend to be aspirin, paracetamol, ibuprofen. And these, what they, uh, what the painkillers do is they help to treat the symptoms of the disease. So if the symptoms include, say, headache, runny nose, cough, uh, any kinds of aches and pains or fever, what the painkillers do is to relieve those symptoms or treat those symptoms while your body deals with the pathogens inside. And that could be viral or uh, bacterial. You can take painkillers often with antibiotics so you don't feel the symptoms while your body's getting better. Probably worth highlighting this little area here because viruses are slightly different to bacteria and it's important to remember that viruses cannot be killed by antibiotics. So the last thing I want to just go through quick is how the antibiotics might work. Here we've got some antibiotics and the bacteria. And what the antibiotics do is they go ahead and damage the bacteria in some way so that they die, often by damaging cell walls. For example, the antibiotic penicillin. Now what can sometimes happen is, because of a change in DNA, the bacteria becomes resistant to the antibiotic. They don't technically or literally bounce off but they do become resistant and those resistant bacteria can divide so you need to have another antibiotic which can then go ahead and kill this antibiotic resistant set of bacteria. Okay we're going to look at that in more detail in a future video how that exactly works but the point here is that while antibiotics have saved millions of lives from bacterial diseases it's important that um, they're not overused so that antibiotic resistance bacteria emerge and it's also becoming an increasing worry because more and more bacteria are becoming resistant to antibiotics. So it's something that has to be thought out very carefully for the future.